So did you hear about that restaurant on the moon? Good food, just no atmosphere. <laughs> Space, no? Perfect. Right, straight off the bat, I owe these sneakers a huge apology. I actually missed these out on my top 10 Jordans of the year. I don't know how, I don't know why, but for some reason, they just slipped my mind. And the funniest thing is, I was on the hunt for these at the same time. But on today's episode, we are reviewing one of the cleanest Jordans to drop this year. It is the Jordan 4 Midnight Navy. Now I've had my eyes on this pair ever since its release date. I believe it was the 29th of October over here in the UK. And yes, comparisons to the white cements aside, this colorway is clean. A lot of the times with sneakers, just like this pair, less is more. But I know this sneaker has been out for quite a while now, so there's tons of different reviews to it, so I'm not gonna waffle on too much. But paying the price that I paid, I had to get that review in. Now retailing over here for 180 pounds, I actually paid 260 and I wasn't too mad. I even struck out on the recent restock. So I was like, you know what? I just gotta bite the bullet. For me, it's defo one of them pairs that are gonna shoot up over time. But in terms of the box it comes with, it is kind of synonymous with the Jordan 4 at the moment. It's got the flight text on the top of the box and of course that Jumpman logo in red. But most of the color of the box is in that midnight navy. And then we also have those gray cement splatters to the box too. But the product sticker though does say Air Jordan 4 Retro and the official colorway is white midnight navy. I can't believe I actually missed these out on my top 10 Jordans of the year. If I had to rank these though, I'd probably sit them at around the top 5. And maybe it's because I like the Jordan 4 so much, but just like where I get my socks out of, in my opinion, these are top draw. But broskies, where would you rank these in your top 10 Jordans of the year? Comment down below. Now yes, these did release ages ago, but if you're looking to pay resale, you might just be thinking about how these fit. And for me, just like every other Jordan 4, they do fit true to size. Although I do have to mention, because it is that leather upper compared to say the Canyon Purples, they do have a little pinch. I've noticed it personally on my pinky toes, but it's not enough to go half a size up. All they need is some breaking in. So overall, I would say true to size. Now, why are these one of the best Jordans to drop this year? Well, let's take an up close and personal look. Now, at first glance, not only the colorway is clean, but the materials aren't half bad. This leather is way better than I expected. Now there's nothing too standoutish here in terms of the construction and design to the shoe. All the overlays are of course in that leather. And then we've got that more creamier white to the webbing towards the toe box and of course the mid panels. And just a disclaimer, these will defo yellow over time. Now the QC on my pair, Thankfully, they are actually pretty good. I think the majority too has been pretty decent. For this pair, I've not seen many complaints. But on the straps, we do have that gray panel with the cement splatter in that Midnight Navy there. And where those iconic Air Jordan 4 lace holes are, of course, are in that Navy too. Now they only come with one set of white laces, which of course just goes with the shoe anyway. Now half of the tongue does have that webbing here again. And then we've got that Flight and Jumpman logo just on top. Now where this lever is just on top of the tongue is nowhere near as good as the upper. But anyway, I guess it makes it more durable. Now we have this white cotton sock liner and best believe these will get dirty very quickly. In my opinion, try stick to white socks. But the insole here does come in this navy with the white Jumpman logo towards the back. But the reverse of the tongue does have that Air Jordan flipped upside down, which is just on top of this navy cotton liner. Now towards the back, we've got that pull tab in that gray colorway. And again, we've got the cement splatter in that navy. And the Jumpman logo is in navy as well. But moving on to this iconic midsole to the Air Jordan Jordan 4. Those navy cement splatters are slapped on top of these grey panels here again. And it's a nice contrast to the navy panels and the whites on the midsole. And yes, we've got that Jordan 4 air unit towards the back. Now we have the traditional Jordan 4 outsole here and of course white, grey, red and navy. And for me, the Jordan 4 has one of the best outsoles on a shoe. You know what? This part of the video kind of made me feel a little bit better about paying resale. But what do you think broskies? And most importantly, are these or were these a buy 
or a buy. Now the Jordan 4 has slowly taken the top spot in terms of my favorite Jordans of all time. At one point it was the 1, at one point it was the 11s, at one point it was the 3s, but they were always in and around it. And hype has made it near enough impossible to cop at retail or for a decent price. And for me sometimes on some silhouettes and colorways you just have to bite the bullet. I'm not the biggest fan of paying resale but sometimes you just have to do it. And in my opinion, just like L'Oreal, this was worth it. You're worth it. That was me pretending I had hair. <laughs> but yes, this silhouette is pretty traditional to the Jordan 4. It's nothing too exciting, but it's one of those sneakers you sort of go to in your collection. And you can't really go wrong with an all leather Jordan 4. And yes, it's always going to have comparisons to the white cements and that sort of thing. But for me, it does stand on its own. But overall, broskies, I'm happy with this shoe and I'm happy with the price I paid. Some of you might be thinking, you're absolutely bonkers, mate. But in my opinion, these are an absolute buy. Of course, I would have loved to cop these at retail, but sometimes the game is the game. What do you think, broskies? Comment down below. Was this one of the best Jordans to drop this year, or was this an absolute miss? Leave your comments down below, and I will pin the best one. But anyways, broskies, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for supporting. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And till the next episode, take care.